Everybody really? always talks about really, it. Really it's really, really good. I won't spoil anything, though. It's really smart. I like it. All right. right. Well, we're going to go right in here to game two. And right. we got... Yeah, there's lots of DK, so we're going to Brothers Kong here. And, you know, it's probably because they actually went to town and city. Because, you know, you t technically you pick the stage first, then you pick characters. So right. might have liked his DK. Because Woosh does not have a bad DK by any means. He absolutely has a DK. I'm pretty sure that was one of his mains at one point. Yeah. So but Ding Dong, of course. DK loves the stage. <laughs> oh, no. But Ann actually hitting DK. Yeah, man. Remember, think back to all the times Ooh. Donkey Kong Country. I love the option, but a little bit slow on that. Yeah, but it definitely puts a ton of shield pressure on and allows uh, Blaziken to pretty much make use of it. But Vash keeping Blaziken busy in the corner here. And they just weren't able to capitalize on the shield, uh, the stage control options that Donkey Kong actually rarely, for the for once surrendering his banana. I don't, I don't know what killed him there. I, I right. Oh, the oh no, you have your, dude, your hitbox is so but, big. Oh my god. But Mushu, Ding oh there we dong, go. Uh, there Mushu. we go. <laughs> oh yeah, my bad. Yeah. Mark uh, uh, Redeemer's gone. Yeah. But I mean, Mushin, Mushin Blazik is just not able to make Ooh, use of all right of there. the uh, the options that. You know, Vash and Marcus are making in this matchup. Like they're they're not staying together. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We're good. We're good. If, if like? Mario had more rage, we could have seen a six W X kill. I know, right? <laughs> he was looking like he was gonna stairway to heaven combo. <gasps> no! Don't pull the Ryuga. Don't <laughs> I love how that, that anytime you're stuck on that platform, it's going to be a Ryuga kill forever. Like, <laughs> oh, Ryuga! <laughs> Somebody didn't uh, think we were talking about Street Fighter. Oh, Ryuga! Oh, I like the option, but he's oh, going to get he his hands. Yep. <clears throat> get your hands out the cookie jar. <laughs> Hits him with that forward smash on the ledge. Oh, falling up air, clipping Bash right there. I'm not sure if uh, when he just threw, um, cargo up through from the ground, if that was a missed input or not. Mm. Wow. It's possible, because I know that Vex will do it on, like, fast fallers because it's still guaranteed. Right. Just to, like, shut off almost. But, uh, that might have been a missed input, because Mario's not exactly a fast faller. He's very middle of the white pack in that regard. Mm -hmm. But, I, I mean, as far as, like, cargo throw in this matchup, they got, like, a, the really low ceilings. They got to make use of this. Absolutely. And they cannot get gimped. Ooh. They got to they gotta really be Great careful. Great air dodge read on the back here, kill there. Oh. So blue team actually has a slight lead now. But Blaziken should hold on to the stock. As oh, long yeah. as possible. There we go. And you just got to go to work, man. This, this matchup is all going to be about like, hey, man, don't get in the monkey cage. We're going to have to put him down like Hammurabi. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, the up smash will take him out. But Blaziken with one more stock. He just needs Moose to hold on to this stock right here. Yeah. So that means he's going to have to do the lion's share of the approaching. But he, they don't really have to approach too hard. I mean, this match is still fairly even. One ding dong combo could take it. And up, oh, here we go. Here no, we go. Quite. And now we got a we got a tempo. Bash had a lot lower percent. True, but I mean, he might not have killed. But I'm saying, like in terms of tempo, the we definitely is, though, have it. If you if you if you can avoid going for the up throw when you know it won't kill, you really shouldn't. You don't want to stale that move. Right. If, that, if that if you set up a perfect ding dong and it doesn't kill because the move is stale, you really don't want that. True. However, in this matchup, you really need damage. And there we go! Great F smash there. Th this, this is all I'm talking about. So now all Blazing Kiss and Moosh need to do is keep it together. Make sure they just play nice yeah. and calm. One, one person approach it. safely. One person hold back and be ready to punish. Exactly. It's just like Donkey Kong Country again. Remember, you would have to, uh, you'd you'd have have to, to switch you, to, like, move to switch to, when yeah. your guy gets hurt and knocked out. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, Ooh, I mean, smash will that, take out DK. And, I mean, do you remember in Donkey Kong Country where, uh, oh, wow. Right He's got a banana though. We're like, if you want to use Diddy or you want to use a uh, great ooh, banana back catches air. that out. Lovely. Back air, confirm off the banana. Beautiful. But you don't remember that in Donkey Kong Country when you're using Diddy and DK, you can just switch by pressing the button. Yeah, and so then yeah. you, yeah. That's one of my yeah. DKC two actually one of my ten favorite games of all time. Honestly, love yeah. that game. But also DKC three really underrated in the trilogy. Yeah, I would actually argue that uh, DKC one is actually the worst. Of it. You think so? I mean, they're all wonderful. Don't two is good. Wrong, I like two. Yeah. I, I did I did enjoy three more. It was the most memorable out of them. It's just very unique. People give it a lot of flack just because Kitty Kong sucks. Like he's uh, lame as a character. I mean, I guess. I, mean, I love three. I actually I really want to play that trilogy sometime again. I feel like every summer I play that trilogy one just because like it's a fast, you know, it's a fast playthrough. It's easy to 100. percent Just have a good time. Right. Right. Great soundtracks. Just love it. Anyway, Moosh is going Shulk. <laughs> Shulk. They won the game. He's going Shulk. I guess he's really feeling it. <laughs> like, Ladies and gentlemen. Like what? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. I this is losers. I remember the first match I commented was a was a Shulk Ditto. So I look forward to this. So, I mean, in this matchup here, this is going to be a, a, another zoning match. I guess they felt a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, and Shulk, can, he can zone. Like he, he's not a, he doesn't have fast moves, but he can zone with the best of them. I just think that, I mean, in terms of Shulk's, like... There's just too many, I mean, Monado is just a lot to be paying attention to in, in dubs. You really just can't have tunnel vision. 
with a character like this. But without to take anything else, we just got red team. They're going, you know, they're pretty much going the most consistent in this matchup. And honestly, in oh, my personal already opinion, going smash mode. no one's at kill percent yet. Yeah, you got to get out of that. Well, in my personal opinion, in this type of matchup where you got, you know, two teams Good that can Lord, easily take it. It's like red team, blue team, they're the most consistent. Uh, and I don't want to be biased, but red team's just looking really good right now. They absolutely are. And like recently, I'm a big advocate of Shulk is bad. So <laughs> we'll see him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I love him. I so wish he was good, but he just is not. So like, I really want Moosh to prove me wrong, but like, he, he counterpicked to what is basically a worse character. So I, I, I we'll see. We'll see what happens. Is this a bad Shulk stage? I th uh, probably. All right. Well, like there are some tricks he can do. Like if he goes into jump, he can actually go under the stage to recover. But um, there's a handful of tricks. But you know. Well, man, he's gonna need something in his bag of tricks because it looks like they're trying to six stock them right now. Yeah. Actually, actually the got... biggest thing that he has is up tilt because up tilt will cover the entire platform. Right. Uh, and it's pretty fast. Right. Yeah. It's actually it might be his overall best move, honestly. It's really good. But... Doesn't seem to have too much uh, utility for behind him. It really just. Oh seems no! It actually heavy. doesn't hit behind him at all. But oh, okay. Other than that, it's really good. Okay. Uh, but um, Red Team, again, once again, just keeping that synergy. And you can just tell, like, look, when you got characters that, that stick to a plan, a team that sticks to a plan and just stays nice and tight, like, Red Team has been the entire sets, and you've been seeing them playing all the way up. It's just consistency. Yeah. That being said, they are even right now. Snipes them with that banana. And another thing, Shield Monado Shulk is actually scary for a specific reason, and that is that uh, a lot of people don't know this, but Rage actually does slightly scale with weight. Heavier characters will get a bit more out of it. Right. When you become Shield, you become the heaviest character in the game by a lot. So is if that have, right? If you have high Rage, your knockback of Shulk's moves becomes really ridiculous. Not quite as good as Smash, but very much a threat, especially when you consider that uh, knockback is actually reduced in shield mode. Yeah. But overall, is stronger when he has rage. But in this match, and look at this, just get this patience. You know, it's just like monkey in the middle, and mind the pun, but <laughs> yeah. good. It's just, there's, there's nothing it seems that they're going to do right now to just get this momentum back. Yeah, they got to get momentum. Ooh. Oh, and, and the door closes right Ooh. behind him. I like the ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> good night. Oh, Blazik is coming back alive. Oh, uh, but Redeem was stopping his shine with that down smash at the ledge. Moose doing a wonderful job of living with. Oh, okay. Get punished for backslash. I guess not. You hear the word <laughs> backslash, you just go run up shield and hit him. Like, that move is really, really not good. <laughs> Alright, down there. there. Oh. But no, if Shulk. The thing is, though, Shulk can do decently against Marth. He just has to. He has to outspace him pretty much, because uh, Shulk does have a greater range than he does. But he has to let Marth come to him because of the free beta situation. <laughs> F-Tilt nearly taking out Mario. And the other thing is back air has ridiculous range. Uh-oh. It's Blaziken. like up there with Charizard with range. But. Yeah, man. Bla but Blaziken's definitely turned up the heat, keeping a lot of the uh, the tempo for blue team. And Shulk, uh, uh, Musha Shulk, is pretty much closing it out when he can. He's trying to use his tilts, keeping people off Blaziken's, but fashion redeemer. Noticeably calm here in this matchup. Absolutely. Especially Redeemer, who's at 153%, but not, you know, I just love, I need to commentate my own matches so that I can control when this kind of stuff happens. Yeah, man, like, this is unbelievable. It just seems like, even at 166 damage, up smash, I can do it yet. Nice Next rage up smash, though. Oh, wow. What's that up smash? Unbelievable. Oh, boy. Wow. Needed that follow up there from Moosh here to pretty much take some of that heat off of, uh, from uh, Redeemer Z because he is on fire right now, landing a lot of his hits. And it, it yep, and there we go. He yep. goes and up. I knew it. Mode. The instant he kept throwing that out, it's like go for the F smash. You have the you have the rage boost from shield uh, mode. He's at 125 percent. He's dead. Uh oh. All right. So now here's a critical moment. We got both teams. Off, we got both teams on an edge guard situation. Yeah. We got red team with definitive stage control. They get and this is really tough because Shulk has to get down and approach Mario from above, but he he manages to do it. Yeah, Mario just throwing caution to the wind right here. Why not? But he, he can go into ally mode right now with the presents that they're at. Oh yeah, ally mode being up smash, run away, up smash. But I mean, oh no! Oh, got That's jumped too late. It's up to Blazikus. This is their tournament stock. Game three, and there it goes. <laughs> I like, it, I like no. how it happened right when you said. This I know, right? <laughs> it's just okay. like a, it's up to Blazikus. Oh, okay, whatever. Go home. <laughs> it's fine. But no, they don't go home yet. This is the best of five. Yeah, I know. So I'm just saying, in, like for that match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not on tournament stock yet. I wonder who's. Uh, I wonder who's playing on the setup that that's connected to. <laughs> yeah, Logan. He would shulk. I guess he should have went Doc, huh? Yeah. You know, go for the character that can't recover a certain percent of the time, and the character that can't recover zero percent of the time. <laughs> Ugh. Go Roy. Why not? Like, <laughs> honestly. What, what do you got to lose? Yeah, I know. At this point. That's not true. Hello. I mean, I guess at this point, it's just, you know, Hello? whatever. Hello? I guess Ganondorf, man. King of okay. disrespect. 
Are we doing real picks now, or are they just giving Moosh, up? Moosh has done double, double Ganon and doubles before, but he does have a Marth. Bash going Lucina. I think it might just because of doubles and that he can't be as precise with spacing as he wants to be. So Lucina might be the better pick. Jab up smash a lot more consistent. So. Yeah. I think that, you know, jab up smash in this in this situation. Jab up smash. Uh, F, yeah, sorry. My bad. Jab up F smash. I mean, it's going to be cool and all, but, I mean, with two Lucinas, or uh, Marth Lucina is just... I don't know. There's a lot of swords dancing around the stage, and that in said, all honesty, credit to Vash going with the best Lucina. All to say right now. Yeah, I mean he's, he's pretty good Lucina. Dude. I I just think that blue team really to pull it together and make these adjustments, they need to find a way to come together, not team attack, and actually just disrupt red team because you can just see it's not like they're throwing out Ooh, moves. Down right there. You know, they're not just sitting there attacking randomly. They are doing it a lot more calculated. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Great air dodge by Redeemer avoiding the spike. These offstage situations are yeah. getting crazy. And Vash gonna close out Moosh's stock there. Yeah. Because that's the one thing about Moosh, Moosh counterpicking to Marth. Uh, Vash is gonna know how to fight Marth. Yeah. Yep. And offstage situation for both characters. We got Redeemer trying to cover on stage. Oh, ho, ho. That's so Whoa! Don't do the, your hurt box oh, is huge. <laughs> let's go. But he actually clips Moosh as well, trying to punish uh, that yeah. taunt. And I, I, I just don't know what to say in, in terms of Marcus and taunting this tournament. <laughs> yeah. uh, are, are, is he trying to tilt people or is he just legit like? Not sure. Doesn't even care. Yep. Oh, Redeemer had a jab lock there if he was ready for it. Well, it looks like he's making these guys see red here because every single time I've seen Marcus throw out the taunt, he's living in 130 some damage. That's true. You know what I mean? He's throwing some stylish, st stylish stuff out on. Uh, I'll throw on the top platform. Kills him early though. Yeah. Uh oh. Wow. Looks like blue team cannot get this stage. Yeah. What's up? Oh. These guys are just getting handled right now. Absolutely. Blue team already on less. Ooh, not oh. quite. Not quite time to catch. But Marth, Marth taking the brunt of that uh, that interruption there. It, it's just unfortunate. I mean, I know that they can see what they're doing, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't seem like they're really taking steps to uh, delay it or uh, you know what I mean, yeah. stop it. It's just they can't interrupt it. And when it seems like they get a semblance of, you know, unity, it's just like they break right back up and go for Let's a one-on-one. -on -one. Get him. And just like that, Smoosh is out of the picture. Four stocks is peace. It's all in place. Yep. But 4v1, not yeah. so good. I gotta say, man. Ooh, uh, down throw F smash, I like it. The, 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 the flames of hope are gone <laughs> for me right now. Ooh, I like the attempt. I like the attempt of back airing up, dude. Oh, wow. And hits the forward smash so late in the game. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to say there. Vash pulling out his little Vash tricks now <laughs> with his wave bounce stuff. Yeah. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I wonder if he's doing a C bounce with a C stick is what I wonder. Yeah, he is using C bounce. Okay, I gotta learn to do that. Okay. Cool. Great back air off stage. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Redeemer and Vash take a 3-1 victory of Losers Finals. We'll now move on to Grands. They will be facing Project 8 EX and SSB Max.